guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're doing the biggest ever Poundland haul that we've ever done. I spent 86 pounds in Poundland this morning. How much? And there is a reason why we spent that much. Um, I went in there for cleaning products. I, I stuck. You got your nose stuck. <laughs> it's stuck, it's supposed to be stuck on. Get. No, you can't take it off. I went in there mostly for cleaning products, for school supplies, and for things for my five-year-old's birthday party this weekend. But I also went in there because we, me and the kids, are doing something this year called the Reverse Advent Calendar. So what that is, is in December, instead of having an advent calendar where you get stuff, you give stuff. So every morning I'll wake up with the kids, choose something to put in a big box, which is going to be our reverse advent calendar. And then at the end of the month, you take it to your local food bank or charity that helps people that need it. So I saw this idea on Pinterest and I just thought, what a sweet idea. If any of you fancy doing this as well, I think it is a great way to teach your kids to give and just teach them how very lucky we are um, and that not everyone is as fortunate as we are. So I think first I'll show you everything that I got for myself and then I'll show you everything that will be going into the reverse advent calendar. I'll let the boys choose every day. Um, but yes, without further ado, let's get into it. So I mainly went in there to get some new cleaning products. Our new kitchen is nearly done and I cannot wait to clean it, which sounds really sad. Um, but there was like a shortage of cleaning products. I think Mrs. Hinch's Halls have cleared out my local Poundland. But I did get some toilet bleach and I also got a toilet duck as well. This is the lemon scented one and I also got some more Zaflora. I really had hoped to get a more wintry scent. This is the pink grapefruit which I do love but I was really looking for the winter spice smell because I love that this time of year or maybe like a bit more of like an autumn smelling Zaflora but I am nearly out so I got this one. I also stocked up on birthday cards while I was there. I have a drawer in our kitchen just full of birthday cards for whenever the kids have birthdays to go to so I got this 3D cake one a little My Little Pony one, and then these smaller ones for two for a pound. So I got some like boy and girl like neutral ones, and then Matt got this one for his friend, which he thought was quite funny. Um, so yeah, I love getting cards in Poundland. But I also got these books in Poundland. They were a pound each, and they're all the Horrid Henry books. I don't like the boys watching Horrid Henry because they watched it once, and then Caleb went through a phase of calling everyone a rat because he saw that Horrid Henry called people that. Um, so they don't watch it, but Fraser really likes reading the books. So these were a pound each, and I might give him one now and save the rest for Christmas. But yeah, there's just like a selection of different ones, so I thought that was like a bit of a bargain. I also got my eldest this Match Attack book. It is full with football and facts, and he will love it. He's football obsessed at the moment, and he is just fascinated in finding out how many goals someone's got, or I don't even understand understand all the stuff he tells me um, but I thought that was quite a good one and it will also be a good Christmas gift as well and then I also love these books from Poundland I buy them all the time and the boys really enjoy doing them they do like English books science book maths books as well and they're activity books so they can fill them out so I got Fraser the seven and up addition and subtraction one and then I got him a nine and up English one because he's pretty good at it so I think he can maybe push himself he's nearly eight years old. I also got a few bits from the stationery section for the boys so I got them some thick pens to take to school with them. It's a new half term and all of the stuff they started with has had it and then for Fraser I got him some new sharpies or well, they're like fake sharpies from Poundland but they're great and then for Caleb I thought these were really cute they're like stackable markers um, so you get the different colors and you can like stack them all up so I thought that was really good for a pound I also got a glue stick for the kids school supplies the other day Caleb had some homework and we needed to take pictures and then paste them into a book I didn't have any glue so I've got some glue now then I got some 
supplies for my son's fifth birthday party, which is this weekend. He wasn't bothered about having a like character themed birthday. So everything we've got is just blue and gray. So I got this happy birthday bunting, which was blue and it has silver lettering on it, which I thought was really cute. Then I got some paper plates for the food and I just thought it would be easier for cleanup and everything, it's recyclable. So we got happy birthday plates, which are also blue and silver and I got 60 of those and that was three pounds. Then I also got these great tablecloths for the party. They're wipeable as well and you get two in a pack for a pound. So I got four tablecloths in total. And then I got these foil trays for the party. You get three in a pack. And although the venue that we're going to is doing sandwiches and drinks, we were going to put biscuits and veg and fruit onto these little foil things. So there's three in a pack, so we've got six in total. Then to go onto the foil trays, I got six packs of party rings. You have to have party rings at a birthday party. And these were three packs for a pound. I also got three packs of these biscuits from Fox's. They are the jam cream ones. So I thought these would be good for the birthday party as well. Then I picked up these paper straws. You get 30 in a pack and I thought they'd be really good because they're recyclable and lots of places that we go now do not have plastic straws and I think that's a great thing because so much plastic is ending up in the ocean but with small children they're still not great at drinking out of like big cups if we go out for a meal so I may put a few of these into my handbag and um, so yeah. And I got a few snacks as we were going around and I'm not gonna lie, they were pretty much to give to Jackson while he sat in the buggy, but my kids love the mini Oreos in Poundland. You think you get like five or six little bags in this pack and then also these little yogurt raisins. Again, I think you get five in a pack for this as well. I also picked up some new cotton buds. There are 200 in this pack for a pound. Then I got three packs of sweets to give out on Halloween. I think this video is going live on Halloween, so I know this is probably not relevant to you guys, but I got three of those. Then I got some Mitchum deodorant because this is my favorite deodorant to wear. And I also got a soap dispenser, which is gray. I thought it was really cute, um, but I'm actually going to put hand sanitizer in it. When we were recently on holiday, as you walk into restaurants at every meal, um, they will put this into your hands. And the boys loved using it. And although I try and encourage them to wash their hands before every meal, sometimes it's a battle, whereas they really liked putting it on. So I'm gonna fill it out with that, have it on the table, and just make sure they use it before every meal if they haven't washed their hands and it just helped with the spread of germs and I just thought it was like quite a cool little idea so I'll let you know how I get on with that and then finally Matt wanted this Radox shower gel it smells so good it's the pink grapefruit and basil and we basically bought a couple of these for the reverse advent calendar and we were smelling them we were like we need to get some for ourselves as well. So we got that. Yeah, so that is everything that we got for ourselves from Poundland. I'm now gonna run you through what I bought to give to charity as part of the reverse advent calendar. And how I planned what I was gonna buy was I went onto our local food bank and they have a list of supplies that they actually really need. Um, and some of it was quite surprising, like cleaning products, hygiene products, things like that you might not necessarily think of. And they also had a note on their website that said, we do not need any more soup. Like they must have so many cans of soup. Um, so yeah, I'll just run you through what I got. So this is everything laid out here. And one thing they said they really need is cleaning products. So I got two flash with bleach sprays, two toilet ducks here, two deodorants there. Um, they also said they really needed rice. So I got two big packs of rice, some toothpaste as well, two for adults, one for babies. They also said they really need toilet roll. So these packs, um, there's four in a pack and they were a pound each. Then also on the list was Smash. So I got that in Poundland. And they also said they really needed um, tinned meat. Um, so I got two tins of chopped up ham and pork, two tins of Spam, this thing of hot dogs here, which are ready to eat. Um, and then some tuna as well. And they specifically said they wanted all day breakfast in a can. And I found that in Poundland. So I got a couple of those as well. Then I also got some soap just for washing your hands. And they also needed um, sanitary products. So I picked up some tampons and some pads um, and then a few more like hygienic 
things as well. I picked up some shower gel and this is the one that we then decided to buy because it smelt so good. And then I also got a pack of eight toothbrushes um, in there which is all different colors. And then I picked up some shampoo and conditioner two-in-one packs. Um, some like bath, like bubble bath for kids. So I got two of the Marvel Avenger ones here. They're huge as well, so it should last a very long time. And then I also got this one for girls. It's got Jojo Siwa on it. So I thought a little girl would love that. And obviously it's only a pound for one of these. And then I also got some bars of soap. There's three in this pack, so I thought that would be great to like break up and give to different people. And then last but not least, I got some washing up liquid. They did have fairy branded liquid there, but that was in a 500 ml bottle, whereas this is 675 ml. So I thought it would go that bit further. But yes, that is everything that I've got from Poundland to go in the reverse advent calendar. I'm also gonna add in a few other things that I already have at home. Right, so that is it for this Poundland haul. That is everything that I bought this time. I really hope you liked it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.